So welcome to day 14. Once again today, I started right into this artist study, continuing painting up the face as much as possible. And today, I mostly finish up the block in of the base of colors and actually get into a little bit of rendering of details and blending and things like that. I'm still just kind of feeling my way along with this one. It's a very complex painting, and I probably should have broken it down into simpler components, uh, a, a, a process that I could follow to try and achieve the end result, rather than just trying to paint exactly what I see. I don't know, though. That's It's kind of hard to, to judge that for certain, um, but just that's kind of the feeling that I'm getting at this point in time, because a lot of the stuff that I'm having to go over and over again is... Uh, are places where I didn't, I didn't quite get things right the first time because I was trying too hard to achieve the basic texture or I was too focused on some other aspect of the study rather than just getting you know the fundamental forms down or the lighting just right or something to that effect but overall it's come along pretty nicely and I'm I'm pretty happy with it so far. It's it's been a really interesting experience. I've really learned a lot from it so far. And uh, I will probably work on it for a few more days yet just to see again how far I can take it. Uh there's might come a point where I'll say I'm going to push pause on it for a few days, maybe the rest of the week or something like that and and go back to doing some daily different studies and then come back to it after it's had a, a few days to, to rest but who knows uh, i'm experimenting with a lot of different things like different brushes uh, which you might be able to see a little bit of in there just as i'm kind of getting used to different things like getting used to the process of painting in sketchbook which i haven't done a whole lot of before and it's just been an overall very interesting experience so Moving on to these uh, character portraits again. Now, I've chosen my three favorite of the ones that I did previously, the quick 10 or 15 minute sketches. And now I'm going to do probably two in total. I, I haven't quite finished this one yet, but probably two in total uh, more detailed and refined sketches. Uh, they're not going to be specifically any one of those three. Uh, rather, I'm going to be kind of combining my favorite ideas from those three into two separate portraits. And uh, for the most part, I'm pretty pleased with the way this has turned out so far. It's not it's not quite finished yet, as you'll see by the time we reach the end of this video, but it's pretty close. Uh, just got, got a few more details to wrap up on it, and then I'll move on to the other one. Once these are done, I'll begin uh, the process of doing a quick paint-up of these, uh, which I figure ties in nicely with my artist study as much as possible. I'm kind of trying to tie in the things I'm studying to what I'm actually doing in my own day-to-day -day work, simply because I feel like that's going to be the way I'm going to learn the fastest. Uh, it that's the important thing about studies, I feel. Yes, studies are very important and you should do them. I think almost no matter what as an artist, although I'm not 100% confident in that statement, but the really important thing if you want to learn from studies, if you really want to learn and become a better artist in general in your own work, you've got to turn around and try and apply what you're learning. And so I'm trying to apply things like line weight for creating details uh, that I'm getting out of the hand videos from uh, David Finch. And I'm trying to apply a lot of anatomy details and things like that that I'm getting out of uh, my various artist studies and focusing on the faces. And eventually I'm going to try to apply some of the painting stuff that I've been learning here. So that's the basic goal. And that was it for today. So... We'll talk to you tomorrow.